Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com, a new Windows 11 build to look at. This is 25136 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel, and we've got something new to show you. Tabbed File Explorer. Hey, see, I'm running it on my virtual machine because not all machines are picking this update because Microsoft A B testing. But you see, see, I can go into a folder on here, I can go plus, and I've got another tab, so I can go into another folder here, and another folder here, and, and so on. So, Tab File Explorer is is finally here. It, it doesn't look massive, but it actually I think it's going to make a big difference in productivity. You can create as many tabs as you want, flick between them. What is going to be interesting to see is whether you can actually drag and drop files between tabs. Uh, let's uh, see if I've got uh, something we can try. So I've got a, a picture there. Let's go to the videos tab. Yeah, there you go. We can drag and drop between File Explorer. So finally, that's what you want to be able to do where before you had to sort of tile your windows or copy and paste, you can drag and drop between those as well. You also, also the OneDrive has, has been sort of promoted in there as well. So that's up there at the top now as well. Microsoft also say that the address bar is clearer as well when you're in a OneDrive folder. But uh, I think, yeah, tab browsing is here and it works brilliantly there are some other things in this build uh, Microsoft are AB testing this by the way that's why I've only got it on this one device one of the things they're testing is the widgets down here at the moment that's showing the weather but it will display dynamic content so it could play and uh, could show a news alert or a stock alert or something like that and then go back to the weather when it's finished uh, but I haven't got that update yet um, there's some other changes improvements uh, rolling out the ability to um, re report uh, animated GIFs if they're inappropriate in the emoji panel. They fixed some issues where some PCs were being detected as tablets and when they're just normal PCs and the taskbar was going in the wrong mode so they fixed that and they fixed some bug checks in recent builds as well as well as fixing some start menu items where we'd only show one column of items and storage wasn't working in settings as well. And they've also fixed the uh, task manager issue. So there are still some known issues with this build. Windows Insiders on a Surface Pro X will get a black screen when you attempt to resume from Hibernate. That was in the previous build as well. So you may want to skip this build if you've got that. And they're investing in a report that the blur effects um, on things like the start menu and notifications at centre may not look correct. It's hard to tell on this build because I'm running it on a virtual machine. So um, they don't get the best effects anyway but um, I'm going to try that on one of my other machines and see but that's a known issue anyway and their investigators reports that shutting down that via the start menu may reboot instead of shutting down and um, file explorer may have a misaligned file explorer tab that they're looking at in the future so main thing I want to show you in this build is tab browsing in Windows 11, uh, if tab file explorer I should say in Windows 11, 25136 for Windows inside on the dev channel, drag and drop between tabs and uh, yeah it's looking uh, like this would be a nice feature. So thanks so much for the video, it's a quick one but I wanted to show you this feature and I'll see you on the next build. Check out our YouTube channel and the digitallifestyle.com.